This video is about metric conversions. So what we're going to be doing is converting from one metric unit into another metric unit. So we need to use our prefixes for the metric system. And hopefully you remember these. We have kilo, hecto, deca, and what comes next is the base unit. I should point out something about DECA. It's sometimes spelled D-E-K-A and sometimes spelled D-E-C-A. I'm going to use D-E-K-A. All right, so kilo, hecto, DECA, the base unit. Next is DECI, D-E-C-I, CENTI, and MILLI. Now, if you need to have some help memorizing these, uh, one saying Mrs. Pepin came up with, perhaps you might remember it from biology class, king, hector, decorated, many, different, Clown masks. So K for king reminds you it's kilo. Hector sounds like hecto. Decorated is deca. Now many stands for a meter because often meter is the base unit, but it's not always meter. It could be liter, it could be gram, it could even be some other units. Different is for deci, clown is centi, and masks for milli. So now you know how to write these prefixes in order. Now it's important when you write these that you write them in this order. You start with kilo on the left and work over to milli on the right. So I listed the prefixes here. I'm going to work an example, and in my example, I'm going to use a meter as my base unit. So underneath here, I'm just going to write meter. And I'm going to actually write the full word for each of these columns. So I will write kilometer, hectometer, decameter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. Now what I'm going to do in the space below here is try some conversions, do some conversions. Before I do that, let me just remind you, the, the prefix kilo means 1,000 times. So if I have a kilometer, I have a distance that is 1,000 times one meter. Hecto stands for 100 times. So a hectometer is 100 meters. Deca stands for 10 times. The base unit is, well, just one unit of whatever it is. Deci. Deci stands for one-tenth, or 0.1 times the base unit. Uh, centi is one-hundredth, or 0 0.01 times the base unit. And milli is one-thousandth, one-thousandth, so 0 0.001 times the base unit. 
So let me just do an example here using these columns that I've set up. Let's just say that you have one meter. Now I have one meter right here. I'm not sure if you can see the whole meter stick in the picture frame, but here we have one meter. It's a little bit larger than a yard. A yard is 36 inches. A meter is a little bit over 39 inches. So if I have one meter, I want to convert one meter into all of these different units that I have on here. They're all metric units. Now, the nice thing about writing this chart the way I wrote it, starting with kilo here and moving over to milli, is that I can simply begin with the one number I know, one meter, and by moving the decimal, I can convert to any of the other metric units on the page. So the number one here, standing for one meter, well, there's a decimal right here. We don't always show it. If I want to move one place over from the base unit column, which says meter, to decimeter, I just move this decimal one place over to the right. So one meter is the same as having 10 decimeters. If I want to convert that one meter into centimeters, I move the decimal twice, one, two, to bring me over to the centimeter column. And that means I move my decimal so that it becomes 100. If I want to convert my one meter into millimeters, I move that decimal three times, one, two, three, over three columns. So I write one, zero, zero, zero. So one meter is equal to 10 decimeters. One meter is also equal to 100 centimeters. And one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. Notice all I'm doing is every time I move one column, I move my decimal one place. First I moved it once, so the one became a 10. When I moved from here to here, I moved it again, and the 10 became 100. And when I moved from here to here, I moved my decimal one more time and 100 became 1,000. So what this is saying is that one meter, here let me write in the abbreviation, one meter, that's a small m, is equal to 10 decimeters, that's abbreviated small d, small m, which is equal to 100 centimeters, small c, small m, which is equal to 1,000 millimeters, small m, small m. All of these are equal. They're the same thing. So if someone asks you, um, I have one meter. How many centimeters is that? Well, it's a hundred. Well, how many millimeters is it? It's a thousand. Now, this should make logical sense looking at a meter stick, because if you're familiar with a meter stick, it's divided up into pieces. Um, every 10 centimeters is marked with a large number, and that represents one-tenth of the meter stick. So one-tenth of the meter stick is one decimeter. And that's the distance between my two fingers right over here. It takes 10 of these decimeters to work your way across the entire meter stick. The centimeters are even smaller, about the width of a fingertip, and it takes 100 of those to work your way across the entire meter stick. And a millimeter, very small, it takes 1,000 of those small marks to go all the way across. Now let's keep going to the other side. Let's move left. Let's see, if you have one meter, how many decameters is that? Well, move your decimal to the left. So instead of having one meter, you could say you have 0.1 decameters. Now, Decameters are abbreviated small d, small a, m. Okay, it's not dm because dm is for decimeters. It's small d, small a, small m. Let's keep going. I'm going to convert to hectometers. Again, I have to move my decimal another place, so it's now 0 0.01 hectometers. Of course, I can put a zero in front of my decimal, so 0 0.01 hectometers. 
and I can move my decimal one more time, 0 0.001 km kilometers. I'll put a zero in front. So if I have one meter, that's 0.1 decameters, 0.01 hectometers, and 0.001 kilometers. Now, you might say to yourself, but wait a minute, you know, I thought a kilometer was a thousand meters, uh, so shouldn't this be a really big number? Well, no, the way I wrote it is correct. If you think about it, a kilometer is a very large distance. It's over half a mile. It's about 0.6 miles. And this one meter that I'm holding in my hand right now, it's not nearly that big. It's only a, a small part of a kilometer. It's only... 0 0.001 kilometers. Remember, each of these numbers is equal to every other number. They're just in different units. It's all one meter, just expressed in different units. The same distance. Now, you can use the same idea of moving the decimal place for numbers that are not as obvious. For example, someone might say, I have 3.47 decameters. They might ask you to convert it into any one of these other units. Well, you just need to move your decimal place. Here, I can move from decameter to meter. Move my decimal place once. Instead of 3.47, it becomes 34.7 meters. Keep going. Turn it into decimeters. Again, move your decimal place once. As you move one column, it becomes 347 meters. For centimeters, it becomes 3470 centimeters. And then 34700 zero, zero millimeters. Now, I, I should keep going the other direction as well. Start with my original 3.47. If I want to move that and make it become hectometers, I move my decimal place to the left. So it becomes 0.347 hectometers. And to finish this, to true, turn it into kilometers, move this decimal one more time over. So it becomes 0.347 zero three four seven kilometers. Now I'd like you to try one. Let's say you're told that you have four hundred twenty five point eight decimeters. And I just noticed I made a small mistake on this on this column right here. I wrote an M and that should be dm for decimeter. Sorry about that. And what I would like you to do now is to convert 425.8 decimeters into all of these other units that you see on the page. So I want you to press pause on the video, please, and do that conversion. Fill in all of these columns, and then press play and check it. Okay, now we're back. Here are the answers. You should have taken 425.8 decimeters, and that turns into 4,258 centimeters, 42,580 millimeters. I'm going the other direction. For meters, you should have 42.58. For decameters, 4.258. For hectometers, 0.4258. And for kilometers, 0 0.0428 kilometers. And that concludes this video.